Hello Genius! Ang video natin today is about clock problem. Now, itong uh, clock problem na ito, hindi ito tinuro sa school namin. Even from elementary till uh, college, wala akong na-encounter na binig uh, tinuro sa amin yung clock problem. Pero sa mga board exams, sa, lalo na sa engineering board exams, Lumalabas itong clock problem. So, ngayon, ang ipapakita ko sa inyo kung paano i-derive ang angle difference between the hour hand and the minute hand. Now, of course, masob lang natin to kung catch ang clock. Now, how to derive the formula of the angle difference? Now, for example, we have the clock. Of course, <clears throat> if we have the, now for example, we have this, uh, minute hand, and we have, for example, this, our hand, so, this minute hand, or we call it, We call it the long hand, and uh, this uh, our hand, or we call it the short hand. So here we will derive the angle difference, which is uh, theta. Now, here, if we have this one, for example, the, hour, the minute hand is here and the hour hand is here. So this is theta is the angle difference. Now, <clears throat> for, for the hour hand, the hour hand will rotate 360 degrees in every 12 hours. Well, the minute hand, the minute hand will rotate 360 degrees per 60 minute or 360 per hour. Because six, one hour is 60 minutes. Now, <clears throat> we will find the rate of the hour hand and the minute hand. We have the rate for the hour hand. We will designate our hand as our edge is equal to theta over the time elapsed. T is the time elapsed means from the beginning till when they will stop, that is the time elapsed. The rate for the minute hand will designate as Rm is equal to also theta over the time elapsed. Now, <clears throat> see here, for the hour hand, the theta of course is equal to Rh times T and for the minute hand theta is equal to Rm T so here the hour hand which uh, circulate in 360 degrees per 12 hours so it, in every hour this is this will be <coughs> divided by 3 So in, in in per hour this will thirty degrees per hour because it is three hundred sixty degrees per twelve hours, so in one hour there are thirty degrees. So to see that uh, angle difference we have this <coughs> the rate of the minute hand minus the rate for the our hand times the t 
Now, what is the rate for the hour, the minute hand? Is equal to 360 degrees minus the hour hand, which is equal to 330. 30, sorry. So this one, it should become equal to 330 times T per hour. Now, we can convert this one, 330 into this hour into minutes, which is 60. So times, sorry, times the time. Therefore, the formula for the time difference is equal to 5.5 multiplied by the time elapsed per minute. my premier I will give you first the solution to the problem I gave last premier the first question blank triangle having one interior angle equal to two thirds pi what kind of triangle having one interior angle equal to two thirds pi now the correct answer of this one is obtuse triangle obtuse triangle Bucket, two thirds pi, or I write it there two thirds pi because there is no symbol of this one on my phone. So two thirds pi, which is equal to like this pi in regions is equal to 3.414. But pi, when you're talking about angle, is equal to 180 degrees. So, if you have two-thirds pi, two-thirds pi means two times 180 degrees divided by three, which is equal to 360 divided by three is 120 degrees. So, 120 degrees is more than 90 degrees. So, if you will sketch this one, it's come like this. It's just like this. A rough sketch of this one. This is, we will designate this one as 120 degrees. So, if this is 120 degrees, of course, as you know before, that the sum of the interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. So, 180 degrees minus 120 but is the remaining is 60 degrees so it, it's either here is it's either here is 25 and here is 35 or either here 35 or here 25 as long as the total is 180 degrees that means so this triangle we call it obtuse triangle because one of the angle is more than 90 degrees. Now somebody answer equilateral. Equilateral, no. Equilateral is the angles are equal. So 60 degrees is less than uh, 120 degrees. Cannot be. Some also answered right angle. Now right angle, this is 90 degrees and the rest are maybe 45 or 45. So there is no more than 120 degrees. So the correct answer is obtuse triangle. Congratulations to Speedwheel Black Black for having the correct answer. Now the second question which I gave last premiere and blank angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of its two opposite non-adjacent interior angle meaning if this is a triangle uh, 
and this is the x the answer for this one is exterior an exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of its two opposite non-adjacent interior angles so if this is because this is the exterior this is outside the triangle so this is the exterior if you will see it's this one as x for example so a blank angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of its two opposite so if this is for example 95 degrees and this is 30 degrees so the exterior angle x therefore is equal to 95 plus 30 this is actually a an exterior angle theorem you can check it it is an an exterior angle theorem which states that an, an exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of its two opposite non-adjacent interior angles so this is the exterior this is the interior so the sum of these two is equal to the exterior angle x so congratulations to Lorenzo Castillo because he is the first one who answered the uh, correct answer. And the second one is Regine uh, King. But the problem is Regine, she has so many answers. So si Lorenzo Castillo, nanindigan siya sa sagot niya na exterior angle. So, congratulations to Lorenzo Castillo for having the correct answer.